hello everyone it's your girl cassandra olivia back with another video in today's video i'm doing a client of mine one of my og clients her name is deja she's been coming to me since 2014 i believe anywho we've already shampooed her hair and i'm just going in with some of this um what is this the, the paul mitchell super skinny serum and i'm just gonna put this in her hair and start to detangle you guys have been requesting longer videos so Without further ado, this is a 15 minute video, okay? So I'm gonna try to work my way through this. And I do apologize. Um, I know some of you guys are gonna come for me, be like, oh my God, her mask isn't on at the end. But I actually shot this three weeks ago and I had her come in just so I can test out my flat iron because I, as you guys know, I'm launching a new flat iron line. So yeah, Deja is 100% coronavirus free. So am I, so that's just a little disclaimer. I know her on like a more personal level, but um, trust, everybody who's been coming in has been masked up we don't be playing that so disclaimer so if you come for me i'm gonna just ignore you so uh now i'm just going in with my paul mitchell 427 paddle brush in my rust beef freak blow dryer and i'm just gonna blow dry deja's hair i sped this up slightly just because the blow dry for her hair normally takes me about 30 minutes not even 30 minutes i'll say like 20 to 25 minutes but i wanted to show you guys just a couple parts of me blow drying just for anybody who has not been able to grasp the concept and I mean, since you guys are already here, you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. Your girl likes to ramble a lot. I'm sorry, just what I do. I'll be in my element, so yeah. Um, side note, I'm in the garage. It is hot as hell out here, but I just miss being able to be out and be free. Like, you really don't realize how much you have until you don't have anything. And uh, this summer had just been a freaking bummer, y'all. So anyway, I'm just blow drying Deja's hair out. And like I said, this video is just to show you guys my new flat iron that will be launching next month. Your girl is finally coming out with her own brand of irons because to be honest, I love my, my Rusk and my Bioionic and my H2 Pro and all the other irons that I use. But I just wanted to come and just create my own brand of flat iron. I want to brand myself. I'm tired of you know promoting other companies, no shade, but I just feel like it's now my time to just jump in head first and just go for it. So yeah, so I'm blow drying Deja's hair. I'm just going to let this play out for a little bit and I'll come back in the second part. If you guys have any questions, you know, you can DM me, email me, message me down below, whatever the case may be. I don't always see all my comments just because your girl has millions of views now. So I get a ton of comments daily, probably like 500 to 1000 comments. So it's impossible for me to see every single comment. But if you have a genuine question, just reach out to me via email. It's always in the description box or you can reach out to me on my Instagram because I don't get as many messages on my Instagram because I feel like not as many people have it. But yeah, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask on there. So I'm just going in and detangling her hair. Like I said, this is slightly sped up. So don't feel like I'm snatching her hair out. You just want to make sure that when you detangle, you start from the ends of the hair all the way up into the roots. And you want to make sure that you take the hair in small sections. And then in those small sections, you want to uh, you want to split those up into subsections, meaning that you have them in smaller sections. So like this section that you see going horizontally, I'm just going in and separating that, detangling the whole part. And then I'm just going to go in and blow dry one small section at a time, like I'm doing here. You can part the hair away if this is too much. I do this all the time so I know how to control my brush and how not to get all the hair like matted or tangled together and trying to, you know, be friends. But if you struggle with this, just make sure that you part the hair in a really small section and you section the hair away that you're not using. But me, I know Deja's hair, so I'm just going in, detangling, and just working my way through. So we're going to press her out, and we'll come back when it's time to blow dry. And for those of you who are new, I just like to go in after I'm done the first initial blow dry. I like to have my client bend their head facing down and to the side, just making sure that the whole perimeter of their hair is dry. Once that is complete, I do like to go in with 
a few round brushes. I have like a large one, a medium one, and a super small one. I like to go in with the large one first, especially for my clients with super long hair. And I like to just rotate it with my hand. It's all in the wrist, guys. And you wanna just add some tension as you're blow drying. This is what gets the blow dry bone straight. And you just wanna make sure that you have a nice iron that can help you get this look. If you don't have like a professional um, blow dryer, it's not gonna help you at all. But you just wanna make sure that you're going in. And like I said, her head is facing down. I'm just going in with this round brush. I'm gonna go all around the back perimeter, part the hair different ways just to make sure it's dry. And then afterwards, um, most of the time I'll go in with a smaller brush. I can't remember if I did that with her or not, but I just kind of play it by ear uh, as per each client. It's It just really depends on what client you're working on and how comfortable you are. I can get the hair straight honestly with the Paul Mitchell brush, but I do like to go in with the round brush just to make sure I get those roots super straight. So that way you're not trying to press it out a thousand times with a flat iron. You can do like one two passes and be okay. So now just sprayed in some S3 spray by Influence. I can't remember if I cut that out or not, I'm sorry. And I'm just going in with my brush CTC flat iron. Um, I did this one first, and then I also went in with my, uh, my iron that I'm gonna be selling. I did both just because I wanted to compare the two. And I think this was my first day like actually testing it out. So I wanted to make sure, you know, it worked on different heat settings and, you know, with different products, different hair textures. When I tell you guys I have tried this iron out on about 20 clients now, all the videos that you guys have seen recently on Instagram all have my new iron. The only thing is it's just a prototype. So it's not the final design. So when my final flat iron does come out, it's going to be a whole different look. It's going to be all black, more sleek, my logo, all of that good stuff. So just keep that in mind. So just 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 you know picture the process okay trust the process <laughs> so in this back section i use the iron on the lowest setting which i believe is 280 i'll double check i should know this but like i said this was like my first day using this just getting it trying it out so i was super hyped but all i did was i started on the lower setting just to see how straight it will get her hair and as i work my way up i just increased the heat setting just to make sure that it'll work on different texture hairs and i can kind of get a feel for the iron and I wanna do this because I wanna make sure if somebody gets it and they use it on whatever setting, it's gonna be good for them. It's gonna be good for all hair types, all textures, all that good jazz. So I'm just gonna press out Deja and I will come back when we are done. So just a quick disclaimer, you can do more passes when you have like a really low heat setting, but if you're gonna go like, I'll say 380 and up, you wanna make sure you do one to two passes, no more than that, only because you do not wanna damage your client's hair. So disclaimer, um, the parts that you saw me go over maybe like two or three times were the parts that were on like 280, which barely straightened her hair, which is fine for her hair texture. But just keep that in mind, whatever temperature you're using, you just wanna make sure that you do the amount of passes for that setting. Also, before I forget, your girl is gonna be in Las Vegas in July and I'm looking for models. I'm looking for some silk press models and some wig models. I wanna do some color wigs, some glueless wig install, glue wig installs. I just wanna collab with some of you guys, have some of you guys be on my channel. So please reach out to me via email or DM on Instagram. I posted this on a few of my social media sites but I'm trying to be low key with it. But I'm officially announcing that I will be in, in Las Vegas, July the 8th through the 12th. I will be accepting just a select few of clients and I just want to come out and slay you guys. So I'm looking for models. And if you want to book with me on a whole different level, that's something I'm also looking to do. Models will be free, but if you want to book with me, that's completely up to you. Also, I'm thinking of just renting a booth in a salon. So just throwing that out there, your girl will be in Las Vegas in two weeks. So if you're trying to get slayed by the one and only Cassandra Olivia, then shoot your girl a message and let me know why she choose you to be one of my models. And again, I'll probably just have an, like an additional day because of course I'm not gonna be able to do models every single day. But if you would like to book an appointment with me and also pay me, then that's also an option. But like I said, I just wanna go out there, have some good time, good vibes. I have major moves coming soon. I'm not trying to announce too much, but you guys know I'm launching my flat iron next month. And I just wanna tell you, be on the lookout for Cassandra Olivia because you guys are about to see me blow up. That's all I'm gonna say. The people I'm surrounding myself with and the people I'm aligning myself with, it's about to go down. You heard it here first, okay? <laughs> so back to this tutorial. Now at the top, I'm going in 450, which is why you see it. Now it's just going through like butter. Look at that. You saw how natural Deja's hair is, guys. Her hair is so natural, so thick, gorgeous curl pattern. And as you can see, her curls have not been altered and she's been coming to me for four years. So as long as you take care of your hair and you have somebody that actually specializes in hair care and healthy hair, you'll be fine. But disclaimer, we just want to make sure that, well, of course, you're using a heat, a heat protectant. If I could talk, god damn. <laughs> you want to make sure that you're using a heat protectant and you're not doing too many passes. So at the top, I'm just doing about two passes per section. And yeah, I don't even know what else to talk about, guys. I feel like I say the same thing 
I always do my voiceovers the same way. I do them one shot. If I mess up, it's on here because I'm not perfect. And I want you guys to know, like, your girl makes mistakes all the time. Like, no shade. But yeah. So now I'm just putting in Deja's part. And I did put a little bit of pomade in her hair just to give it a little bit of shine. We are going to go in and trim her ends because her ends needed some trimming. Because I have not seen my clients since, like, February, March, guys. So everybody that you're going to see in these next videos are getting, like, color touch-ups, weave removals, new installs, trims, haircuts, all of the above. So I cannot wait to bring you guys all this new content. And yeah, we were just geeking it up. I love Deja, like she is such a vibe, guys. But um, I'm just gonna show you guys how I trim the hair briefly. I like to do it based off of the client's hair shape. You guys already know that. I'm kind of follow along here. I'm just gonna add it in the video. And then afterwards, I like to pull it out at a 90 degree angle and just take out all the dead ends. And once I'm done that, I'm pretty much done with Deja. She lets me do whatever I want, guys. Sometimes I'll curl her, sometimes we'll do straight, sometimes I'll bump her. It really just depends on me and how she's feeling. As long as she got the side part, she don't really care what I do. She lets me be flexible and that's what I love. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and trim her ends. Then afterwards, I'm just gonna use my same iron. This is the prototype iron, guys. I'm gonna use my little prototype iron. I'm gonna go in and give her like just a little bit of a bump and just, you know, zhuzh her hair. And that will be the end of this video. So I'm getting ready to do my makeup actually because my husband, you guys know he's in the military. He's been away for a while, so he's coming home today and I wanna make sure that I look right for my boobs. So I'm getting ready to hop off of here. <laughs> but if you guys have any questions, feel free to DM me, comment down below if you like this video. Thank you guys so much for supporting me through my crazy journey and I am just so excited that we are, we're just growing so much on here. And I'm trying to revamp my Instagram and do a lot of things. I feel so overwhelmed, but I'm just overwhelmed with love and joy. And I'm just excited to take my career to the next level. So that's all I'm going to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. And just watch me finish laying Deja. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. That's what I boy. That's why so white.